I born in a strong uh, Muslim family, uh, which is uh, uh, Shia. Uh, I grew up uh, in my uh, faith, which is transferred from my grandma to my grandfather uh, to my dad and transferred to me. Uh, I remember uh, years ago uh, when I was as a child, my grandmother were encouraging me to do namaz and do the uh, Islam's traditional. Uh, I try to follow the, uh, the, the faith they, they keep telling me uh, since I was young. Uh, I remember even I was a child, like 12 years, ago, 12 years old, uh, my grandma said, you have to, if you want to go to heaven, you have to follow what we are teaching you. And my grandfather, from my dad's side, he had a mosque, you know. So, um, I was 12 years old, I lost my dad and my sister in a car accident. And uh, I was living with them for two years at least. And I was doing fasting, I was doing uh, all the uh, stuff they were telling me. I was thinking, Allah, uh, which is the God in Islam, He's someone in heaven, okay. He never, uh, he never have any relationship with me. Uh, when I need him, I cry out, you know, to help me. You know, I was empty. You know, I was in bad situation. He was not near to me. I, th I thought maybe, you know, I'm, I'm uh, in, in, in this big world. There is no uh, hope for me. I really hate people that time. I was full of anger. I said, people that n don't like me. God doesn't care about me. You know. Uh, religion doesn't help me, so why I have to leave? So one day I decided to su suicide. I was crying that night. I remember I drank also. Uh, uh, I said, God, why I'm not dying? You know, I, I don't want to leave anymore. Why I have to leave? And after that was uh, one day I remember my friend, who, whose name is Hassan. He he introduced me to some Christian organization. One day he told me, there is a church uh, in this street, do you want to go and visit that church? I said, no, I don't want to go to the church. And he was Muslim too. Uh, I, I don't want to go to the church. He said, no, 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 let's go there. So we went there. Anyway, it was the middle of the service and preacher was preaching about the message of gospel. I remember he was saying, God is our father. And that was the place I, I feel empty in my heart. I thought the emptiness in my heart is because I don't have my dad. But it was not true actually. Uh, it was part of it. But he was teaching, he was preaching, you know, uh, God is our father. And then uh, the, his message was spoken to my heart. I feel, you know, it's some related relationship between his word and my heart. Uh, he was he was telling in his message, you know, how God loves people, even though they are sinner, even though they are uh, uh, and they are not walking with him all, every day. But he was telling me about his passion. God, God has you know, he's created us as a father, and he loves us. You know, uh, doesn't matter who we are from which generation, from which re religion, if we are Muslim, if we are Christian. He is his Abba Father, you know. So when uh, the service ended, the, the gentleman came, he said, uh, if you want to come and give your heart to Jesus, it, I was going to do that really, but I was afraid of my friend, Hassan was there, I said, no, he's going to see, you know, I'm going to, I became Christian, he was going to, he's going to tell all the uh, neighbors, friends, you know, yeah, and lot of became Christian. And same, so it was very, you know, it was war in, inside of me, okay? Some voice said, go to the altar, uh, to the front and give your heart. And so, another voice said, no, 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 don't do that. You know, it was, you know, my flesh uh, was telling me, don't do that. So I, uh, 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 the gentleman came again, he said, you know, this preacher is going to preach entire week. If you want to come, welcome tomorrow also. I said, yes, I'm going to go to the church again, but without Hassan, you know. I don't want to go with Hassan. But after that service, I went home. I couldn't sleep that night. The word of that uh, preacher were talking to me all night, you know. Uh, it was really touched my heart. So uh, then uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, after uh, work, I went to the church. 
I was first person in the sanctuary, sanctuary, and then uh, uh, I feel very uh, different smell I never uh, feel in the past, you know, and then uh, uh, suddenly people are starting to come to the church one by one, and then people start to singing and worship the Lord. In the past, uh, I was going to the, to the mosque, you know, I never seen people singing for the Lord, joying because they have uh, something in their life. What I was, I saw it was people crying to Allah, where they were in sorrow, you know, because what happened to their Imam or to their, their Prophet. But I never seen someone is dancing, singing for the Lord. And one thing it was interesting to me also it was they were singing to Jesus. Uh, one song I, I always remember it touched my heart was, you know, if you're tired, if you don't know about your future, tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. If you you are sinner, tell it to Jesus. You know, so uh, the the songs were you know talking to my life, to my heart. You know, uh, it was uh, something I never experienced before. And the preacher came, the same preacher uh, had uh, preached yesterday. He came, he started preaching. His message was about how we are sinner. So yesterday he said, God loves us. And today he said, we are sinner. I found out through his message and word of God, uh, the emptiness I have is not because I lost my dad. My problem is because I'm sinner. And that was the emptiness I never uh, feel, I never do anything about it in the past. I try to be good Muslim, but uh, that was not I needed. What I needed is to have, I have to repent because I'm sinner. I remember, <laughs> I don't know what happened suddenly, but before the pastor altar call, I was in the front. I was crying for 15 minutes later on, people told me, you know, you were crying out, you know, shouting, God, I need you. God, Jesus, if you are alive, come to my heart and change me, I'm sinner, I don't know what to do, you are the only person, you can help me. So, uh, at the same time, some, a gentleman was looking at me, you know, he was looking at me, I'm crying for 15 minutes, he came, he said, a young man, do you need help? I said, yes, please help me, I need help, you know, I don't know what to do, you know. And he came and he, he guided me to pray and, you know, give my heart to the Lord. After I gave my heart to the Lord, to Jesus, you know, I, I stood up, I feel I'm just, again, uh, I can't say I'm born again, you know. I didn't know anything about born again, but I feel I'm born, I'm new, you know, I'm fresh. So I was going home, the way I was going home, I was dancing and shouting, uh, tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus, the song, you know, uh, in the very first uh, beginning of the uh, worship I heard, you know, tell it to Jesus, tell it to Jesus. After I went home, my mom said, something is wrong with you, what happened? You're crazy, you're different. Did you receive some money? <laughs> I said, no, 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 I found Jesus, you know, Jesus came to my life. She said, no, you're crazy, you know, what are you talking? Jesus is a prophet, he's in the heaven, you know. I said, no, 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 I changed, I'm the same person. And after that, every, after, after that night, I feel you know, a new beginning in my life. So everything uh, was uh, converted, everything was uh, transformed, you know. I was a bad person, I was sinner, I was empty, now I became, you know, a happy person, uh, no more anger in my life, you know. And I, I, I start to love people, you know. In the past, I never liked people. I love to fight with them. I love to be, uh, to be against of the people's teaching or ideas. But now I love more people. From that night, uh, I feel I'm, I'm, uh, I'm new person. I never have relationship with Allah. I, I, I try to be closer to Allah, but nothing received from Him. I didn't know Allah is different than Jehovah God in Christianity. And then, but through Jesus, through Jesus Christ, my Lord, I start to have relation, new relationship with my Creator, with my Savior. So every time I start uh, reading His Word, you know, the Gospel, you know, every time I, 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 I had my quiet time with the Lord, I, I feel God is near me. I feel 
he he's friend of me. Uh, I remember when I when I got baptized, uh, the pastor said, "Yeah, brother Elnathan, he lost his pa his father, but he he found a heavenly father." So I found that I have uh, someone more valuable than human person. So I have now my father God. He's always with me, and uh, he 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 gave me everything I needed, you know. So maybe many things is still same thing because uh, I live in this this earth, you know, in this world. But I feel more peace. I feel more joy, you know. Uh, so when I go to the church, uh, when I serve the Lord, I, I feel I'm, I'm walking with someone. I'm talking with someone. He's always with me.